giving you the inside track on local businesses. This is 13 Inside Track, sponsored by Franciscan Health. Welcome to 13 Inside Track. I'm Laura Steele. Today we're coming to you from Franciscan Health. We are joined by its stroke director and neurologist, Dr. Meredith Cousin, here to talk about preventing strokes and what people can do. Let's talk about first the common signs that people need to know about for stroke and how they can remember those things. So we use the mnemonic Be Fast to, to think of quick symptoms. B stands for balance issues, E for vision, eye changes, F for facial weakness or facial droop, A for arm weakness, but we also can see leg weakness, S is for speech trouble, trouble finding words, slurring your speech, and then T is for time. Mm -hmm. As soon as these symptoms come on, we want you calling 911, getting the paramedics to get you to the closest ER as there are interventions we can do as quickly as we can. Okay, let's talk about those not so common signs. So sometimes you can have just a change in the way people are processing information. We call it altered mental status. Sometimes the weakness isn't as evident. People may be falling or they think, oh, I slept funny, so my coordination and my hand is off. So we really just err on the side of caution. If it's new, if it's all of a sudden, get to the ER. Okay, what are the risk factors that will make someone prone to having a stroke? So obesity, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, heart disease, smoking heavily, drinking heavily, those are our, those are our big risks we see. We're finding that a younger uh, group of people are having strokes. Why is that? So unfortunately, some of the young people are actually getting these risk factors at a younger age. So that's a big factor. We do see women perhaps on birth control that may be higher risk for stroke or blood clots, particularly with COVID. You know, we were seeing a lot of issues with younger people as well. Mm -hmm. Younger people are a bit more prone to having genetic clotting issues, genetic cardiac issues. So I think we're getting better at investigating those um, and hopefully bringing that risk for everybody down. Okay. And you guys just recently uh, won an accolade. Tell me about that. So we are number one in Indiana for stroke care. All right, thank you so much. Dr. Meredith Cousin of Franciscan Health, we appreciate you. And if you'd like to see your organization or your business featured on 13 Inside Track, all you have to do is email us at 13insidetrack at wthr.com. Today's 13 Inside Track was sponsored by Franciscan Health. 